But you know, let's take it back to Nigeria now. During your time at Sunshine Stars, you know, how was how was it like? You know, playing football in the Nigerian <laughs> league at that time. It was difficult. By the way, Sunshine Stars they, they were in the Super Six playoff that was held recently in Lagos. But I mean, they they were like more like the whipping boys of the, of the <laughs> championship. But you know, what's it like? You know, when you play for Sunshine Stars. It was good uh, for me. It was uh, my first experience um, in a club, in a professional club. Mm -hmm. You know, I could remember the first day I went in, they dropped me off and my roommate then was like, oh, let's go out to eat. And I'm thinking, we can just go out. Like, we don't need to take permission from anyone. <laughs> like, he <laughs> can just yeah. leave and, and they're like, Yes, this is a professional club. You're responsible for yourself because I was coming from national team where it's strict. You cannot go out sometimes. You cannot use your phone, you know, stuff like that. Because it was just after on the 17 World Cup yeah. that I joined. So we didn't use our phones during the tournament. You cannot go out. Even with permission, it's, it's hard for you to go out or go out alone. So they're letting us leave like that so for me it was a new experience and it was good i played a lot of games with them uh, the only uh, problem i had was traveling away much uh, mm -hmm. imagine going from you know akure to kanu for example and they're playing this loud music yoruba fuji mm -hmm. on the bus loud and then now you don't then with at, um, where there were iPads, but it wasn't like affordable like now. You know, yeah. it's not like you could put your headphones and block your ear, watch a movie or something. You have to listen to that music all through the journey. You know, and you want to, you know, relax in a in a cool environment. Yeah, no, but no much noise it's, and it's, it's what it is. It's the Nigerian league. I wasn't used to it, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, when you played. What was the salary like? You know, what was your earning, bonuses, and all that? Can Can you tell us about that? Mm, I don't. I'm not sure if I can remember exactly how much the salary was, but I knew sometimes it would come, sometimes it wouldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what we were always looking forward to was the away match um, feeding money. Mm -hmm. So before the bus takes off. They give us, I think it was about 30,000, either 30,000 or 25,000, like close to that. So For every away match you go to? For that. every away match. So now this is what keeps up the team. So everybody wants to go to an away match to earn this money. Because I think the only thing we buy is, when we get to the road, we buy yam and plantain because it stays more in, in your stomach. And that takes you almost all through the journey. So you can save the remaining money for yourself. So that was, was it like, you know, yaman, you said yaman what? Yaman, fried yaman plantain. Okay, so, so you eat that way before the game, before no, kickoff? on the, the day trip. Of the, on no, the trip. Yeah, okay. the trip, because we travel. Sometimes we have to arrive, like they make it so, we leave so late, so we can arrive like 2, 3 a.m. 4 a.m. so we can only pay for hotel for one day mm. so the management they try to instead of paying for two days hotel so we arrive today sleep and then tomorrow is the match so you have to pay for tomorrow again because you leave maybe in the evening no they will make sure they will time it that will arrive the next day so you're paying for just one one hotel, one day, one night hotel for the players, and then they keep the rest of the money. So this was the. So you travel and you always arrive at midnight. I mean, this is an interesting revelation from you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't think I've heard the story anywhere, but it's good to hear it from you. But it's good to see that the league has improved in terms of you know salary and all that because there are players now earning way above 600k, 700k in the Nigerian league right now. But I mean, what can you say about the league? What are the improvements you want to see? you know, in the Nigerian league moving forward? Yeah, I think um, even hearing from the players and they've said, you know, the issue of referees, by when I was playing, we weren't going away matches to win games because we knew it was a loss. Mm. 
So you already knew your head that if you're going to lose we this knew game. If you're going mm -hmm. there, you're going to lose. Except you're going to maybe a smaller team that doesn't have the money to bribe referees. Yeah. Basically. But now I've seen referees being punished and things have changed. Like last season, for example, insurance were going to win away matches. Other clubs were winning home and away. You know, you could lose your home match if you don't play well. This is how it should be. This is how competitive, you know, the league should be. Also, I've seen that they try to resume the same period as other leagues, you know, yeah. summer, uh, you go on holiday at the same time. I think this is really, really encouraging. All right. I mean, I, I, I asked Igalo this same question, and I'm, I'm going to put it to you as well. Uh, the NPFL, the Nigerian, is going to be called the NPL next season, the Nigerian Premier League. Is this something you would like to come play before you, you know, hang up your boots and, and, and all that? I don't, I, don't, I don't think my wife will allow me. But <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why wouldn't she allow you? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, coming back, no, I don't know. I've not thought about it. I've not thought about it. Uh, I want to, when I finish, I want to have my academy. I have to focus on grooming talents, you know, for, for the Nigerian League and also to go to, to Europe, you know. And definitely, I want to have a club that will compete in the, in the Premier League. All right, interesting. I mean, this is quite a contrasting answer from the one Igalu, Igalu gave to me. Igalu wanted to play. But I mean, it's good to see you, uh, at least you still be in the football space, you having an academy and all that. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.